All right, what's up, you guys? So I went to the Just Between Friends. So obviously, if you guys clicked on the video, then that's why you're here. Do you want to see what I got? Um, I have my daughter, who is almost two, and my son, who is seven months. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I got this Janie and Jack jean jacket for my son. It is 18 to 24 months, and I paid $8.75 for it. Super cute, 100% cotton inside and outside. Love it, and my daughter can actually wear this now too. And then I found this shirt for him. It's Baby Gap. This shirt was for $25. It just has like a little pocket in the front, and I just love camo print, anything camo print. This one is a 3T dress that I got for $7. I don't think it's any like nice, specific, expensive brand. It's called, it says Baby Ball made in China, but I thought it was super pretty. It's like a mustardy yellow color. So cute. And then I have this dress for her. It's Baby Gap, and this one was $3. Kind of looks like, gives me viejita vibes. So pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the detail. It's like a silver, with a silver skirt. Then I found this Baby Gap shirt for my son. Well, my daughter can wear it too five dollars it looks a little raggedy but once i wash it and steam it it's gonna look super cute ready imagine myself wearing this with like some cargos and a cute little tank i got this skirt from h and m this one was eight dollars i have a little zipper in the back and then this dress i don't think i don't, I don't know what brand it says lemon kiss and this one was five dollars but i thought it was so pretty love it I got these overalls, two to three years. They're Zara and they were only three bucks. It's like an acid wash overall. Super cute. I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you guys I'm in my garage, so don't mind the mess. And then I got this Victoria Beckham for Target dress. This one was probably like the most expensive piece of clothing that I bought, but I thought it was so pretty. This one was 15 bucks which is not expensive, but I mean, it's, this is like a lot of this is second hand. Some of this stuff has tags still. I just thought it was so pretty and different and it has like the little pink trim at the bottom. I was probably gonna wear that for like a church or something. And then I got this little baby gap shirt for her. They had a ton of baby gap for $4. And it's just like a heart print and then it has like the little heart on the sleeves, with the ruffles. This one was $3. I don't know what brand, it's like less, Less petite something, $3 for this top. These Zara pants for my son, and actually my daughter's probably wearing them now too, because they're 18 to 24 months. New with tag still, and then the pocket in the back. $6, I don't know if I mentioned that. And then I got a pack of just like plain Fruit of the Loom white t-shirts, because I like to put those on the kids. It just goes with everything, and those were $2 for a pack of five. I got these Baby Gap pants for $3.50. They're like little, I don't know what they're called. I, I call them knickerbockers. Knickerbockers. Like they go to like just below the knees. I don't even know if that's what they're really called. They're like a light pale pink color. Three fifty, you guys. And then I got this two pack of Janie and Jack button down shirts for my son. And it was $10 for two shirts. So it's just this blue and white one. And then this blue, white, and green one. I got this other, I got a lot of baby gap. This baby gap dress from my daughter. This one was $8. Also new, it still has a tag on it. Just so pretty. The little ruffles. And then it has pockets in the front. And then for my son, baby gap. Another baby gap. This one is just a white polo shirt. And this one was 6 bucks. And then I found this Matilda Jane dress for my daughter. This one, oh, this one was 15 bucks too. But it's so adorable look at this and it ties in the back and it has a little logo the matilda jane logo it's so cute and i don't know if i mentioned you guys i went i think the sale started wednesday and i went today is thursday yeah so i went pretty early in it's gonna be there until saturday or sunday um i found this disney princess dress it's a sleeping beauty dress for eight dollars i think this is like legit from the disney store i can tell and this is I said that already, Sleeping Beauty, but it's so gorgeous. Almost done with the clothes. I got this Baby Gap shirt. I got, I got a lot of Baby Gap for $2.50. And it's just like a brown shirt with like little ruffles on the top and bottom. And then it has a little Baby Gap logo on one of the sleeves. 
super super cute and i never really buy brown clothing i don't know why a lot of the brown clothing was calling to me when i was there but i tried to not buy a ton of stuff this was another baby gap dress for my daughter with the ruffles nine dollars maybe nine bucks i love this one this was a two pack of Zara baby girl leggings and these were $4 for both of them. And then I got a bunch of shoes. These ones were $5. These are just old navy. I, I, didn't, I wanted some Birkenstocks for the kids, but these are fine. I love this like olive green color. And then I found these baby gap shoes. I wanted some like church shoes for Junior once he's a little bigger because right now he's still little. He doesn't really need shoes with the tags and stuff still on them eight dollars brand spanking new they're super cute the church shoes oh i can't wait to put these on him and then these are so funky but i have to get them because i love dinosaurs i love dinosaurs these also still have the tag on it uh these are some i don't know what brand they're just jurassic park shoes these were 550 i just thought they were so cute they're kind of like i don't know they give me a band kind of vibe but you just open the dinosaur and then they can slip their foot in cool and then I just found like these little Nike, I think they're Prestos and, and they're slip-ons. And I figured Maddie and Junior can wear them, even if they're just like play shoes. They're 15 bucks. I think once I throw them in the wash, they're gonna be, they're gonna look cute. They're gonna look really cute. And then I also found a pair of Vans and these are a little beat up too. But Vans, that's something I love about Vans. You throw them in the wash with some OxyClean and they look brand spanking new. These were only six, no, I'm sorry, eight bucks. I thought they were six bucks. I got three bucks for a dollar each. I got this Fiesta Fiasco one. And I just got that this one because it has some, it's in English, but it has some Spanish words. So I like that. And then I got this press press here book. We've read one of these before. Like it wasn't this one, but something like this one. And Maddie loved this book. So I bought this the book like this one and then this one was cute it's called my princess purse so it looks like a purse but it's a book and it just has like the typical princess stories like this the witch the bruja from snow white the enchanted garden cinderella blah, 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 like a bunch of princess and it was only a dollar and then muddy loves play-doh so i found this little play-doh set thing for a dollar play-doh wheels i don't know it was a dollar and the last thing i bought was this oh my god i've been wanting to try this forever and they had the cake pop maker the bella cake pop maker for five dollars so i'm super excited i want to make cake pops for the kids so yeah that was everything i got i was all together i spent i, spent a lot. I was not thinking it was gonna be that much it was 212 and they do make you pay three dollars for the damn idea. I was like, I don't have a million of these at home, but I forgot to bring it. Yeah. So, anyways, if you go back on the last day, which is Saturday, every most I'm not gonna say everything, a lot of stuff will be 50% off. I didn't want to wait that long and I felt like everything would be like picked over, and I just prefer to go and spend a little bit more money. Um, which I probably should have shouldn't have. So I hope this video helps. If you guys have any questions, I didn't, I know I didn't give a lot of information. I just kind of wanted to show what I got. And I was trying to stick to like higher end brands because then later on, if I want to resell, they retain their value. And then you can resell them to buy more clothes. But yeah, you guys, mom of two, coming at you with this. Thank you for watching. Bye.